everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Matt Tykes Show. Plenty of stuff to discuss. Gasoline shortages. Gasoline shortages, yeah. Twitter, other things like that. Starting off right off, welcome back. Got my new setup here. You might notice a towel right up there hanging in that vent. Yeah, that vent right up there. To block off noise. Some loud people around here. Not sure how good it's going to work. It might work good. Might not work good. This is the only way to find out. Anyways, back to this. First of all, here living in the great state of Florida, where I live in a certain location to where we weren't supposed to be affected by the gas line shutdown. But, of course, we were. And y'all want to know why. Y'all want to know why. Now, this is just the border of it. I'm going to go further into detail. But, basically, people around here thought that we were going to run out too. We were, we were going to run out too. And because we were going to run out too, because they didn't do the research, they didn't see that my location, we have tankers coming and deliver our fuel. But no, they thought we were part of the pipeline. People were going to gas stations with bags, filling bags up with gasoline. Let me tell you all, let me give you all a clue. I don't know who raised you all, but trying to use a bag for gasoline is one of the worst ideas you and putting in their trunk. They're putting in their trunk. What can you imagine the what they had? You're never gonna get that smell out of gasoline. It's never coming out. Never. Never coming out. It is never coming out. And the reason why it's never coming out for because it's gasoline. It's as simple as that. There's there's there should not be a ha. Uh, this should not be some kind of dilemma where we're just wondering how. And let me tell you something. You know what I find funny? It's not really funny, but the whole reason why this even started for in the first place. Some hackers shut down the, well, I guess their, their uh, virus, whatever they called it. Uh, I don't know. Not malware. So ransomware. Ransomware. That's what it's called. There, I got the answer. All right. Ransomware. Right? Guess how us, the United States of America, got the pipeline back up? We paid them the money. Really? We're supposed to have some geniuses here in the great old USA. And what happened? We paid. What kind of slap in the face does that look like? You had to pay these people. To leave you alone. This didn't solve the problem. I know a lot of you are like, we did it, boys. We did it. We just solved it. Pi- the pipeline's back up. We can party. No, we can't party. You know what's going to happen now? Now they know that they're going to get paid again. So they're going to do the same type of things over and 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 over. Nonsense. Now, I don't understand. Why were you guys putting this... Of going to the gas stations and filling up your bags full of gasoline. We're talking. I'm talking about uh, just just garbage bags, loading them up with gasoline as if the gasoline isn't going to eat its way out in a matter of minutes. Yeah, you already know what's going on. And people, we were out of gas in our location, not because there was not enough gas, which there wasn't, and not because of the shutdown, but because of these morons driving to the gas station and not researching that we're not part of the pipeline. And they were just filling up, filling up, people freaking out, just like the toilet paper and the coronavirus. Why did the toilet paper just disappear off the shelves? What did that have to do? I mean, it wasn't like everyone getting it was getting uh, the runs who got coronavirus. No, it wasn't like that. So I'm not quite sure what, what caused this beautiful problem. To occur with this toilet paper shortage. I'm still trying to figure it out. I know a lot of people have said, oh, we've someone said this, someone said, no, no, no. Toilet paper, that is that is ridiculous. That is like the flu breaking out, like never broke out before, or just take some new type of sickness, breaking out, and chocolate is just, is gone, but worse than chocolate, because toilet paper is necessary means, unless you own a bidet, unless you own a bidet, bidet or something like that, it's necessary means, it's more important than chocolate. All right, I know some of you are, some of you, are, I get it. You, chocolate's very important to you. Look, 
No, I'm not even going to mention that. I'm not going to mention that. We're going to try. I don't want to make people get nauseous on the Matt Tykes show. That's not necessary. That ain't important. But anyways, back over now to another issue. You guys need to explain this to me. What's going on with Israel and Palestine? Now, before anyone just stand, oh, poor Palestine. Oh, my gosh. Really? I mean, that... Come on. I'm just sitting back looking at this thing, and I'm just saying, come on. This has been going on for such a long time. And now this is what I saw the other day. All right? Some person was whining like, oh, they shot a building down. We are just full of innocent people. And they had been warned, I believe it was three hours before, to leave that location. Guess what happens when you don't leave a location when you've been warned? You're going to get hit by it. Wow. Wow, ain't that a concept? Ain't that, isn't that just genius and just extraordinary? That when we warn you, you know, don't stay in that location. You need to leave. It's going to, it's on our target. And you stayed there? And you are surprised. You are actually surprised that you got knocked down. Really? Really? And number two, one of the things that the person said that I caught on to, he goes, it was just some innocent people sleeping. Number two, how do you possibly sleep when rockets are raining down on your head? How? If I knew that my place was under fire within a, let's just say, a hundred mile radius. Just a hundred mile radius, let's say, was just rained down with with just these fireballs and every single weapon of warfare just dropping down. How am I sleeping with alarms going off and emergency alerts? How? I don't. I don't personally understand this situation. It seems a little fishy to me. Now, what I'm not getting also is the fact that. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, however she wants to be pronounced. All right, Alexandria. All right, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. That's your name. All right, that's your name. All right. She comes out and oh, I can't. She can't believe how how dare Israel do what they're doing. How dare? How dare? They? Wasn't she the same person that claimed a couple months ago that she has Jewish heritage or something like that? Way to stand up for your family. Alexandria, way to stand up. And why are you still in Greek names for? Why are you still in my, my my names for? As a Greek, I take a fit. What are you doing still in Alexandria? That's my. That's a Greek. That's a beautiful Greek name right there. What are you doing still in it? You're still in the Jewish car. I mean, at least I'll, I'll give it to uh, Andrew Yang. Look, I might not agree with the guy all the time, but I sure agreed with him the other day. You know? I'm just, I know people are going to be like, I know this is just a, this is just a two-sided affair where either you're going to disagree with me or not going to agree with me, whatever. This nonsense needs to come to an end. I know who's fueling it. It's Iran. It's clear and obvious. They're fueling this entire thing. It's, it's, it's obvious. It's really obvious. It's obvious. It really is. And what in the name of common sense... I'm still wrapping my mind around the fact that since, can you imagine that? Can you imagine your place being under pressure? Since that Middle East is just messed up everywhere. It just is messed up. And, I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You can't do nothing. You just sit and watch. Sit and watch. That's all. India. India. They're just, I heard they're just throwing bodies in the rivers, throwing them out. They're just dying left and right. Wow. It's amazing what happens. Amazing what happens when you have such a... Uh, how do I say this in a kind way? Over... A lot of people and not good care, you could say. That's the nicest way you can put it. A lot of people and not only do they not have enough medical... Their medical ain't that, is not that good. Let's just be fair and square. It is not at a lot of other countries' levels of medication, medical, 
All right, that simple. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into that subject. Back over now, back over into the gasoline shortage. Because that's personal, that's USA. How do you possibly, I'm trying to wrap my mind about this. How do you possibly pay the people who messed your system up, caused you to close it down, you pay them money? I th- if you're so, why don't you why won't you just blast them back for do send them back? And know it's so funny. You guys give this this USA they give off these warnings. We urge you to stop. Urge you to stop. I'll give you an urge. I'll, I'll, my urge is an action. It's an urge. You, you, basically, your tone them is you already get strike one with me. You already with me. You can at least do one thing wrong and get away with it. And I'll just lecture you. And then the second time, I'm going to warn you that I'm going to do something about it. And basically by strike three, finally get strike three. This ain't baseball. This is people's livelihoods. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. You know it as well as I do. It's, it, this has gone insanity. It really has. This has gone... It's gone out of control. And I really don't I don't understand how you allow people to push you around like this, being the greatest country on God's green earth. How? Excuse me. How? How do you allow that? And to the people who are filling up, once again, containers and just putting in the trunks, filling up some of the stuff I heard I heard one person filled a balloon up. A balloon? With gasoline, what the? What is wrong with some of you? Filled a balloon up with gas? What is two gallons of gasoline going to help you at all? How? Even if you're the most gas efficient car, it's a lot of them stink, anyways. Um, I'll get. I'll give you a fair sixty miles. How's that going to? If we actually have a gas, if we ever had a major gas shortage, that's your means of backup is a balloon? Really? A balloon. That's just don't carry you out, out of the apocalypse is a balloon. No pun intended. All right? The balloon, really, of all things. Enough said on that. It probably ate the balloon away. They're trying to wash it out. They got all their kids. The kids are th- th- five family vehicle. They're probably scrubbing the back of the past three days. Trying to get the gasoline sent out of it. They don't realize it's been just eating into the cloth. And it's going to be there forever. Might as well get rid of the vehicle. Come on, really? Why? Why Why would you fill up a balloon? The, I mean, okay, moving on to other things. Now. Now, final topic, final topic of the day, of the show, of the show. What is up with these little fighters? I'll call them that, right? These YouTubers, I guess there's a YouTuber and a TikToker, if that's what they're called. I don't do TikTok. To me, it's just not my thing. Sorry if I offended anybody. It's not my thing. Anyways, these fights. You know what's kind of weird to me is that this is something that you... I know what it's all about. It's all about money. I get that. But let's take it out of money and let's, let's just put the spotlight on it. Why? This is something that you take up in a parking lot. You have a beef with them? Go into the parking lot, take it out. We're making national events, huge events, for two nitwits to get on stage who just, they just decide, they're self proclaimed boxers. Self proclaimed. Really? And this Jake Paul guy, Lord help that man. There, I mean, at first, you would have thought a few years ago, you know, Logan. He made some big, big mistakes. Logan Paul did. But now you look at it and you're like, 
Look how Logan turned out. I, I wish Jay could turn out like that. I wish he could, but it, I don't believe there's much hope, folks. I believe there, the hope, the hope it's missing. There's not much left. J Jake, you literally got a, a tattoo with a hat gotcha on your leg. Really? That's something a 13-year-old would do. That's an idea a 13-year-old would have in their head. And you, a grown man. I'm not, it's kind of an insult to men to call you a man, but a grown man are going to do something like that. Really? Really? Goodness. And I, I can't believe Floyd's actually fine, the guy. I know, it's, I know it's for the money. I already know that. I don't need someone to comment. It's for the money. I know it already, but you can comment if you want to. Please, I encourage it. Actually, I discourage it. Nah, I don't care. I don't care. Comment if you want to. Try to troll me. Try it. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's got to be about the money, though. That's all I know. That's all I know about the situation. It has to be about the money. This stuff doesn't make sense. They saw one. They saw. Now, K KSI, too. He, uh, come on, come on. I, now, personally, he's all right. I don't have anything against him. I can do with Jake. Jake's just weird. It's all, he's just weird and strange and abnormal. Just a punk. Case I, I, I can at least watch. But still, these self-proclaimed, like, they didn't even, they just decided to pop up and, oh, by the way, guys, you know, I don't like this guy, and I'm going to fight him. You know how you know it's real or not? If it's a free fight. A free fight. That's when you know it's real or not. It's time to start exposing the nonsense. Start exposing this stuff. All right? That's simple. This has been all for the Matt Tyke Show today. You've been watching a beautiful event. But in all seriousness, have a beautiful day. Join us next time for the Matt Hike Show. See ya.